Oh, I guess it's on. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Brian with RedBand.com. Uh, I'm going to talk about something that's been bugging me for a long, long time. And that is when I hook up my iPod to iTunes and I put songs on there. I don't know why I use iTunes anyway, but when I put songs on there, I get duplicates of all my songs, or at least a lot of them. And what I'm talking about is you throw all this music on your iPod and then you realize, oh my god, why is this song on here like five times? And, you know, it's so annoying. And there's programs out there that you can pay for and there's a couple free ones that suck that, you know, go through and you have to pick music and do this and blah, blah, blah. You know what? I, I, I'm sick of it. So, anyways, there's this new, you know iTunes, right? There's this new uh, browser called Songbird, and this is actually what you guys are seeing in the background here. Um, this is looks just like iTunes, actually. Um, you know, there's some things here and there that are a little different. You know, it's not as... I guess graphically pretty right now but this is a new program and it's you know you don't have to worry about all the stupid stuff that iTunes does you know where you know it's just pretty much you want a song on your iPod you just throw it on your iPod it's that easy you don't have to worry about you know copying it and erasing it or whatever but one of the coolest things about it is that there's a plugin meaning there's a separate program that you can add to it that will go through your iPod and find all the duplicates and then just a click of the button it will delete the duplicates that easy and it's all free okay so first you need to download it so I'm not going I'm doing this live so I'm not going to spend too much time on this but pretty much Google search songbird uh, let's see songbird that's the name of it Google search that you know, you should come to a website. It's probably the first one. Uh, I, I believe the actual real website is getsongbird.com. G-E-T songbird.com. That easy, right? Okay. Now, once you install that, you're going to be able to add on in plugins. And the plugin that you want to look for is called The Exorcist. So this right here look for that that's the the name of the plugin okay so when you install songbird then you look for the plugin called the exorcist now to install it, plugins it's pretty easy you just go to uh, google and type in plugins yeah uh, you know if you really need help that easy or if you just go to you know songbird's website and click on add-ons it's uh, right under there just search for the exorcist I'm not going to get into that if you guys need help installing plugins and stuff whatever go go that's what Google's for you know it's really not that hard so anyways once you have that installed you have iTunes kind of program it's like a, an iTunes type program and here you can see uh, here I'll turn off my uh, stupid ass face boink okay so here you have the iTunes and um, pretty much on the top right hand corner let's see if I can get some kind of arrow or something uh, hmm, what can I do how about what's this no I don't need to make a cube <laughs> uh, how about uh, halo no okay oh that kinda works yeah okay so right here in the top right hand corner right up here there's a little box and when you click it one of the things that comes up it says get rid of this halo uh, it says now after you add the, the the plugin it comes with ghost tracks and duplicates tracks so what you do is you just click on duplicate tracks and it goes through your whole entire library and finds all the duplicate tracks and boy oh boy look at that look how many duplicate tracks I have I have a lot now because I have my music saved on a hard drive and this is just reading off of my iPod see this is my iPod it's looking at it's not looking at anything you know so I can pretty much delete all this music if I want to 
but because it, it's looking uh, off my iPod I am just going to click this little button right here Whoop. this little button right here and it's called exercise exercise the clones and it pretty much just deletes all the clones so well, let's see what happens this will remove duplicates from your library without preferring one versus another you probably don't want to do this are you sure you want to continue well see this is not my library this is my iPod so yes I want to continue okay cross my fingers let's just look one of the head uh, duplicates it's Tupac keep your head up so let's see what happens and it's still uh, working there are, I guess 762 duplicates that it has to go through so I guess while that's doing its thing uh, we can wait. Bum, 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 bum. Flame on. Ooh, ah, it hurts. Okay, I'm still waiting. This is what kind of sucks about doing a live upload and not being able to edit the video. <laughs> still working oh it's done and there you go guys I know you guys can't really tell but there's keep your head up by Tupac and there's only one of them now so now let's click on the show duplicate track or ghost tracks you have no missing tracks okay well, I don't know what that means uh, duplicate tracks you have no duplicate tracks and there you go guys and that's how you get rid of duplicates not using iTunes, but using Songbird. Uh, again, that's Songbird. Uh, the new iTunes clone. I uh, highly recommend it. And using the uh, plugin called The Exorcist. This is Brian from Redband.com. If you have any questions, just leave them in my comments. Um, and I'll try to look at it and maybe answer if I feel like it. Later, haters.